Right. Now it takes about an hour to get out there. On the way out, it's gonna we're gonna get all the gear to you guys. All right, we're gonna do a lesson for those folks who need it once we arrive. So speed with all this stuff, all right? We are also gonna fire up the barbecue grills and cook you guys a nice barbecue lunch. All right, now lunch is optional in the afternoon, and some of you folks are not having lunch with us today. But all the beverages they're included with the trip. The whale season is in full swing. And there's a lot of them out there. Uh, you guys help me out with this stuff because the more eyes, the better. We're going to use the boat like a clock, and the front of the boat is 12, 3, 6, 9. You see some whale activity, preferably in the 10 to 2 range, the direction in which we're going. Uh, you let me know, though. We'll cruise over there. We'll check them out. I have a lot of information I'd love to share with you guys about the humpbacks. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's right, the bar is open. You are correct, my friend. You are listening. We got now with the suits, we do have a very slight five dollar rental charge. It's just so we don't come out of pocket when we buy the new one. That's it. You guys enjoy the ride. You got any questions? Don't be shy. Let me know that I want something, right? Several breaches just heading out further off in the distance. So, uh, a lot of whales here, and uh, we're looking for something close, of course, close project. South Pacific and South Atlantic come back. Well, our North Pacific pod, they come down from Alaska. That's where they've been all summer long up there feeding in the Alaskan waters. They start showing up here about November. We see them all the way up until about April. The peak of our season, though, is right now January, February, March. That's when the majority of these whales are showing up. Now, in 1975, our North Pacific comebacks were put on the Endangered Species Act. And their numbers have put way down to the Bay is very well known as one of the more densely populated captive breeding grounds comebacks in the world, the Fahalaya Bay. Kingdom humpbacks are considered the fifth largest. Their average length is about 45 feet. And their average length is about 
well. Pursuing a female in heat. These, uh, I mean, I've seen it's normally six, seven, eight males, but I, we counted one time we counted as many as 18 whales pursuing males pursuing one female in a competition spot. She must have been hot, that's all I can <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's a booby bird here. I know you guys are waiting for a joke on that one. I'm not doing that. It's a family charter. Good thing there's not a pair of them though. I would have to make a joke. <laughs> Usually Yeah, the competition pods, they get super heated. I mean, you'll you'll have these males body badly, these uh, big males. The males are usually very scarred up. They'll smash each other with their tails and their big twirl bits and even blow bubbles at each other.
You guys notice how I swung the boat around so that the whale wasn't in the glare for you, right? You notice that? That's how we roll, man. Picture taking not so good in the glare, right? We think of everything on the four winds. Yeah, you think of everything. How about that? I love you, Dan. Here we go. Where's the jack? Can I get out? I got it, right? Breach button. There's two. 